a sneaky little spec, just for a real sneaky quickie. Today we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Asus Board. Okay, similar sort of product, but we'll see where we go. Okay, so I'll open up the browser. This is the Asus Board. As you can see, it's very, very similar to the Pi. So you've got your four USB ports, your Ethernet, which is faster. The chip is faster, and you get two gig of RAM. Okay, so it's faster all over, and you still get your GPIO pins. So move on to the other pictures, just to give you a quick look. Yeah, it's very similar, isn't it? So if we go to the Raspberry Pi, it's still the same old basic Raspberry Pi for thirty quid. Okay, this is the difference. Is the price point that makes it, in my opinion. The better board to have okay at the moment if you go to curry's there's one place that sells them here which they're out of stock anyway it's 54.99 plus postage so that brings it up to over 60 pounds okay so it's double the price is that extra speed on the chip worth it personally i don't think so but we'll go and check some more out for the tinker board okay so we go to the specifications it's got a rock chip quad core rk3288 processor two gigs of ram ddr3 Integrated graphic processor, micro SD card as, as you would think, RTL Gigabyte LAN, so the LAN's faster, comes with Bluetooth and wireless as still. The all is an RTL ALC 4040 codec, which does hate high quality audio, so it has got that bit in it. But remember, you are paying for that at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Still comes with the four USB ports, as I said before. There's all the internals, passive heat sync, which you will need to use, okay? You will need to use a heat sink on the tinkerboard, otherwise it will go bang. Okay. As it says down here, the note, the quad core Marley supports a resolution of 4K at 30 Hz, but it's upscaled. Okay, it's upscaled. It's not real 4K. Okay. And obviously, point number two, do not touch the system on a chip or the chip to you and the heat sink. Because it will burn you because it runs really, really hot. Now, I haven't actually got one of these. I was thinking about buying one, but I thought, well, no, it's not really worth the money at the end of the day. I don't think so, personally. Okay. Whereas the Raspberry Pi, yes, it's a bit slower, and the Ethernet's slower. You still get USB 2, etc., etc., and you get the usual ports. Okay, the audio is not fantastic, but you can get hats for around about £10 to make it HD quality audio if you wanted to. Yes, it's only got one gig of RAM, but if you're a tinkerer, do you want to use any more at the end of the day? Will it make it any better? No. Lots of people have got the Raspberry Pi Zero with Cody working on it. Yeah, I know. So why would you spend you know, £60 instead of £5? I just don't get. I just don't get sometimes. So yeah, it's a bit of a sneaky quickie. Tell me what you think, really, because I'm I'm torn on this one. I mean, I would like a, a really nice, a faster Raspberry Pi, but I don't want to pay more than £30. That's why I'm willing to wait the extra couple of years. For the £30, I'll get a better card, and off we go. Yeah, that was a sneaky wiki. I know. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see those. Bye-bye.